Sutra of Star Bodhisattva told Universal Worthy Bodhisattva, human one such are the comic responses of beings in Jambuvipa who commit evil deeds. The power of karma is extremely great. It rivals Mount Sumeru in its height. It surpasses the great oceans in its depths. It obstructs the path leading to sagehood. For that reason, beings should never think that minor bad deeds are unimportant or assume that they do not count as offenses. After death, there will be retributions to undergo that reflect on those details. Fathers and sons have the closest relationship, but there was a diversion and each must go his own way. Even if they met, neither would consent to undergo suffering in the other's place. Now, based on the awesome spiritual power of the Buddha, I will describe some of the retributions for offenses that take place in the house. Please, human one, listen for a moment to what I am going to say. Universal Worthy replied, I have long known of the retributions that come about in the three evil paths. My hope in asking the human one to describe them is that when beings in the future Dharma and the age who are committing evil deeds hear the human one's descriptions, they will be moved and to take refuge with the Buddha. Commentary Earth Star Bodhisattva told Universal Worthy Bodhisattva, Human One and Virtuous One. Human and Virtuous One, such are the comic responses of beings in Southern Jambudvipa who commit evil deeds. The power of karma is extremely great. How great? It rivals Mount Sumeru in its heights. It surpasses the great oceans in its depths. It obstructs the path leading to sagehood. How come we do not yet fulfill our karma in the way in our conservation? It is because we are obstructed by the power of our karma. That is why we cannot realize the holy way. For that reason, beings should never think that minor bad deeds are unimportant. Do not look lightly on minor acts and deeds of evil. Why? It is because numerous minor deeds of evil become great evil, or assume that they do not count as offenses. After death, there will be retributions to undergo that reflect all those details. Evil deeds as numerous as hair or as tiny as dust particles will beget retribution. Fathers and sons have the closest relationship but there was diversion and each must go his own way. When it is time for the house, fathers refuse to suffer on behalf of their sons. Evil filial sons refuse to suffer in the house for their parents. In this way, each takes his or her own path. Even if they met in the house, neither would consent to undergo suffering in the other's place. Why? Although they were father and son in the human realm, once they are in the house, they know that their relationship is a result of past karma. They may even have been enemies. This is why no one would be willing to substitute for someone else in their house. Now, based on the awesome spiritual power of the Buddha, I, Earth Star Bodhisattva says, we briefly and simply describe some of the retributions for offenses that take place in their house. Please, human one, listen for a moment that, to what I am going to say. So Earth Star Bodhisattva, Universal Worthy replied, I have long known of the retributions that come about in the three evil paths. Wherever you explain or not, I already know. However, no beings in the future do. My hope in asking the human one to describe them is that when beings in the future Dharma and the age who are committing evil deeds hear the human one's descriptions, they will be forewarned and cautious about not committing any evil. This is why I hope the human one will explain this to me. All beings will be moved to take refuge with the Buddha, part of the Tripura and Buddhism. 
Sutra, Earth Star said, Hearing one, this is what happens during retributions in the house. Offenders may go to the to a hell in which their tongues are stretched out and blowed through by cattle, or to a hell in which their hearts are pulled out and eaten by yakshas, or to a hell in which their bodies are cooked in cauldrons of boiling oil, or to a hell in which they are forced to embrace red hot copper pillars, or to a hell in which they are burned by a fire that constantly pursues them. Also a hell in which cold and eyes are all pervasive. Also a hell in which excrement and urine are endless. Also a hell in which flying maces are unaffordable. Also a hell in which fiery spears stab them repeatedly. Also a hell in which they are constantly beaten on the chests and backs. Also a hell in which their hands and feet are burned. Also a hell in which they are bound by iron snakes that curl around them. Also a hell in which they are pursued by racing iron dogs. Also a hell in which their bodies are stressed, stormed by iron moons. Commentary Earth Star said to Universal Earthly Bodhisattva, He meant one. This is what happens during retributions in the hells and described in the above and in the following either way. Offenders may go to a hell in which their tongues are stretched out and blowed through by cattle. The tongues of those who like to exaggerate, scold others and lie will be hooked and stretched out. Option pulling blows will blow their tongues. Also a kind of hell in which their hearts are pulled out and eaten by yakshas such as bold ghosts and speeding ghosts, also a hell in which their bodies are cooked in cauldrons of boiling oil. Offenders are cooked alive in these pots, also a hell in which they are forced to embrace red-hot copper pillars, also a hell in which they are burned by various types of fire, a fire that constantly pursues them, also a hell in which cold and ice are all pervasive also a hell in which excrement and urine are endless. Also a hell in which flying mazes are unavoidable. What are mazes? Mazes are shaped like apples or lemons, but they have thorns or needles all around them. These things may be in ground in the ground or come from the air. Also, they are metal. They can fly and pierce you in the head eyes, ears, mouth, nose, or anywhere. In fact, they hit you where you hurt. Also a hell in which fiery spears red hot from a fire stab a hole in them repeatedly. They open up a road and burn a hole in your body so it is good for ventilation. So a hell in which they are constantly beaten on the chest and backs. Also a hell in which their hands and feet are burned. Also a hell in which they are bound by iron snakes that call around them and burn them. The iron snakes in this hell are a type of insect that spit out smaller snakes. Uh, smaller snakes. These iron snakes have not just one mouth, but mouths all over their bodies. Each mouth can spit out a small insect or snake. Each small snake has 12 iron mouths that squirm from the offender's eyes into their bodies that exist from the genitalia. Their eyes are so painful that they are impossible to bear. Why do hell beings face this type of retribution? It is because these beings enjoyed lust when they were alive. They overindulged in sexual desire. Women like men and men like women, they set no limit for themselves. Hence, they face this type of retribution of falling into the house in the future. This is extremely dangerous. Also, a hell in which they are pursued by racing iron dogs. Also, a hell in which their bodies are stressed, stormed by iron moons about the same size as horses and slightly larger than asses. 
Sutra. Human one, to inflict these retributions in each hell, hundreds of thousands of instruments made of copper, iron, stone, or fire arise from karmic forces. Those four materials come into being in response to the kinds of karma that offenders create. If I were to explain in detail what happens during retributions in their house, then I would need to tell of the hundreds of thousands of sufferings that must be undergone in each specific hell. How much more would that be the case for the suffering in all the many hells? Now, having based myself upon the awesome spiritual power of the Buddha, I have given a general answer to the human one's question, for if I were to speak in detail, it would take ends. Commentary A star bodhisattva called out again, human one, to inflict these retributions in each hell as I so explained above. Hundreds of thousands of instruments made of copper, iron, stone, or fire arise from karmic forces. Do this copper, iron, stone, or fire really exist? No. Why? Those four materials come into being in response to the kinds of karma that offenders create. Living beings face the retribution for whatever causes they create. The karma you create manifests this type of retribution. Hells of copper appear when you create karma by which you deserve to be punished by copper implements. Hells of iron appear when you create karma by which you deserve to be punished by iron implements. The same applies to stone and fire. If I were to explain in detail that what happens during retributions in the hells, then I would need to tell of the hundreds of thousands of sufferings that must be undergone in each specific hell. There is not just one type of suffering in one hell, but hundreds of thousands of sufferings. How much more would that be the case for the sufferings in all the many hells? Now, having based myself upon the awesome spiritual power of the Buddha, I, Earth Star Bodhisattva, says, have given a general answer like the brief and simple one above to the human one's question, for if I were to speak in detail, it would take several great ends and I would still not finish. The first common phrase is chapter 6. Sutra, at that time, the world honored one emitted in great bright light from his entire body, totally illuminating Buddha lands as many as grains of sand in millions of billions of Ganges rivers. His strong voice reached all the Bodhisattvas, Masavas in those Buddha lands, as well as the gods, dragons, ghosts and spirits, humans, non-humans and others, as he said, Listen today as I praise Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, who displays an inconceivable awesome spiritual strength and compassionate power throughout the ten directions in rescuing and protecting beings who are suffering for offenses they have committed. After I pass into tranquility, all of you Bodhisattvas Mahasattvas and all of you gods, dragons, ghosts and spirits and others should use vast numbers of expedient means to protect this sutra and to cause all beings to attain the place of Nirvana. After that was said, the Bodhisattva, a Bodhisattva named Universal Expansive, rose in the assembly, placed his palms together respectfully, and said to the Buddha, We are now about to witness the world honored one praising earth star bodhisattvas inconceivable in great awesome spiritual power. We hope that the world honored one will also aid beings in the future Dharma ending age by telling us about how earth star bodhisattva benefits people and gods and about the workings of cause and effect that will help the gods, dragons and the rest of the Eightfold Division along with beings of the future to receive the Buddha's teaching respectfully. Commentary Chapter 6 The First Come One's Praises Like we said many times before, the first come one is the Buddha, 
phrases include complements. This is chapter 6. The Earth Star Sutra contains 13 chapters. This is an explanation of chapter 6. There are 7 more chapters. At that time, the world honored one emitted a great bright light from his entire body, an indication of the profound importance of the Earth Star Sutra totally illuminating Buddha lands as many as grains of sand in millions of billions of Ganges rivers is this light. His strong voice is as loud as thunder or a lion's roar. Most people are delighted with and respectful because of the Buddha's voice. For example, some people lecture on the sutras with a voice that is not very loud and clear, so that listeners get drowsy and do not wish to listen to anyone. A lecturer's voice must be crystal clear like a copper bell. Even if audience members are sleepy, they will wake up because of such strong and clear voice. People are happy with the Buddha's voice so they do not fall asleep. The more they listen, the happier they are. They hear one line and want to hear the next line as if they are eating something delicious and do not wish to let go. Also, the Buddha's voice is loud. It is not the same as when we yell so that our voice sounds sc scratchy, volatile, or fuzzy. People hear the Buddha's strong and clear voice and enter the samadhi of hearing the Dharma. Unfortunately, we were not born during the time of the Buddha and do not get to hear the Buddha's voice. So sorry, it is too bad. Reached all the Bodhisattvas, Masattvas in those Buddha lands, as well as the gods, dragons, ghosts and spirits, humans, non-humans and others. As he said, listen today as I praise earth, star Bodhisattva, Masattva who displays inconceivable awesome spiritual strength and compassionate power throughout the worlds in the ten directions, in rescuing and protecting beings who are suffering for offenses they have committed. Why do I praise Earth Star Bodhisattva? It is because Earth Star Bodhisattva's compassion is inconceivable, his wisdom is inconceivable, his awesome might is inconceivable and the wonderful uses of his spiritual powers are all inconceivable. He vows to save beings who have committed offenses in particular. He believes that people who do not commit offenses do not suffer so much. People who commit offenses suffer too much. They suffer the worst suffering among all types of sufferings. The Buddha said, after I pass into tranquility, all of you bodhisattvas, masattvas, and all of you ghost dragons, ghost spirits, and others should use vast numbers of expedient means to protect this Earth Star Sutra. See, why we are explaining the Earth Star Sutra, the Eightfold Path of Gods, Dragons, etc., as well as great bodhisattvas, are all here providing protection and to cause all beings to attain the bliss of Nirvana permanence, bliss, true self, and purity. After that was said, a bodhisattva named universally expansive rose in the assembly, placed his palms together respectfully and said to the Buddha, We are now about to witness the world honored one praising earth star bodhisattvas, inconceivable in great awesome spiritual virtue. I see now that the world honored one is about to praise Earth Star Bodhisattva for his many inconceivable, mighty spiritual virtues like those mentioned earlier. We hope that the world honored one will also add beings in the future, dummy, and the age by telling us about how Earth Star Bodhisattva benefits people and gods and about the works of cause and effect that will help the gods dragons and the rest of the Eightfold Division, along with beings of the future, to receive the Buddha's teaching respectfully.